hi guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here so we closed off the last episode on marco proposing to madeline and in this episode we're gonna go a little bit back in time so see the actual proposal in the gameplay version and see what's gonna happen next with them this episode is uh not something that i expected it to be so please uh try to enjoy it as much as you can <laughs> um i'm just gonna jump right into it okay so we finally made it to the top of the mountain and look at how pretty it is up here like the views are just it's like we're literally in the clouds so beautiful so here are the girls and uh, annabelle is actually telling madeline that she needs to go ahead and change her outfit and there is a suitcase that has been brought for her specifically for that so she can change her attire and i think we're gonna find out what for very very soon there you go she's wearing i know it looks ridiculous since uh, she's still on the mountain but she just needs to get on the top here because there's some kind of construction there on the top of it so i don't know what it is i don't know but we're gonna find out very very soon so let's go and see what's waiting for madeline and us and what's waiting for madeline is none other than marco it's about to happen. He's about to propose to her. And look at it. There's Fabi in the background as well. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what's going to happen. And this is how it happened in the game. Like, look at this. Fabi in the background. She said yes. She said yes. <laughs> Yay. Oh my god. That is so cute. Wait, look who's here. Oh, so Madeline just got, got engaged to Marco. And look who's here. Madeline's mom is here. Marco flew her in on a helicopter. So obviously Annabelle is here and Colton's here because they wanted like to be here for it. So let's um, announce the engagement to our mom and be like, oh my goodness, mama. We're engaged. And Fabi's here. Oh, how gorgeous is this, honestly. Marco, good job. Oh. <laughs> Yay. Congratulations. I always knew it would happen. Oh my god. That's so so heartwarming. Madeline can't wait to tell everyone about her engagement. It's her favorite topic of conversation because she just can't keep it inside anymore. Now on to the wedding planning. <laughs> okay. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, is Ma um, Annabelle going to congratulate her? Announce engagement. Here we go. Is that girl? I proposed. I can't believe you were a part of it. She was like, of course I was. I'm your best friend. That is so exciting. This really is the most exciting news. Dot, dot, dot. Um, okay. Oh, and I forgot to show you. Look at this. These are all the presents that Marco got her. Like all the Tiffany's, like the ring and flowers. It's just so awesome. Look, he's so happy. <laughs> um, Miss Annabelle. Why are you side eyeing Marco? Why is she side eyeing Marco? That's what I want to know. Like, look at her. She's like, mm hmm. You're acting so happy, huh? Okay. Whatever. So, yeah, everyone, please vac vacate the property because we're going to have a romantic dinner for two for the newly engaged couple. I am so excited, you guys. Like, I can't believe that these two are engaged now. I'm super excited. Marco is already here. So let, let, let's look at her moodlet. Engaged. These sims are engaged to be wed. Save the date. Yes. Oh. 
Uh, oh, congratulations. I heard you and Marco just became engaged. An event coordinator can come in handy. Are you planning an eloping, doing your own planning, or would you like to speak to a coordinator? I've got fantastic reviews. Let's set up a complimentary chat. You're not obliged to hire me. This is a mod, the custom nuptials mod that I'm using. And I'm really excited to like incorporate it into the gameplay because I think it's just a, an amazing mod that I want to try out. Say yes, let's chat more and then see what's going to happen. Oh, she's going to talk to her now. She's like, she just got her game. She's like, yeah, let's plan this wedding. <laughs> That's literally me. Okay, um, let's call to meal and eat. Madeline, girl, can you please give them some privacy? Like, please leave. I can't believe her. <laughs> what is going on with these two? Embarrassed? Oh my god. Deeper meaning from being teased about fidelity. What was just said certainly had a deeper meaning, but Marco doesn't really understand how someone can think such things about the fidelity of a couple. He's feeling embarrassed. And that was after Annabelle said something to him. And I want to know why. You know what? I think I actually know why he's feeling embarrassed. Let me just rewind for everyone really quickly. Let's um consult the trail map marker. Oh! <gasps> what? You're going to get me into trouble, aren't you? What is going on? What is going on? No. No, Marco. Were they gonna woohoo? Oh my god! Perceived as extremely effective, um, attractive, and look at their love bar, the romance bar. They flirt. Oh my! I am so disappointed right now. I am so disappointed right now. Cause, oh my! Oh, okay. I need a minute. I need a minute. I need a minute. Two hours later. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do for the. I'm so upset right now. Like genuinely, I'm so upset about it because, okay, basically, the the whole excursion, the whole climb, is for them to reach the top of the mountain and for Marco to propose to Madeline there. But right now, like as they're about to reach the top. Marco has flirted with Annabelle and like I don't know what happened because I like I wasn't with them but they autonomously started flirting and their romance bar went up and like we got the pop-up saying you're going to get me into trouble aren't you like it was clearly like something very inappropriate going on and like Annabelle is Madeline's best friend and Marco's her boyfriend who was literally like he's literally about to propose to her like it was planned so this man is climbing the mountains, like the freaking Everest, to propose to his girlfriend. And he decided to, like, flirt with her, with her best friend. Are you serious right now? I'm so disappointed. So, like, so for, like, the viewer experience, I think what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put this part into the episode where they're going to like he's gonna propose to her because so we're basically gonna pretend that we don't know about it because like we're obviously playing Madeline so we don't know anything what happened but she will find out I promise you she will find out and this is where I'm gonna put this part in and where you're gonna watch me from the future so yeah I'm so, oh, I cannot believe this happened like I don't know like how do I respond all right let me look at his mood lids conflicted from flirting back <gasps> so okay so annabelle flirted with him but he's conflicted he's conflict okay 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 this is good 
this can't lead to anything good, but this sim is making it so hard to resist them. Should I stay or should I go? Annabelle, are you serious, girl? Okay, so I really think what happened is Annabelle, like, started this. Just look at her, she's not happy, but she is on her period, so maybe she's like, I don't know. Maybe she's like, literally, I don't know, lost her mind flirting with her best friend's man. But Marco is, like, conflicted. I've never actually seen this moodlet before. I don't know if it's a mod or what, but, like, okay. So he's very conflicted that he flirted back with her. He does, like, feel the temptation, but he's, like, still, like, he's not happy about all of it. Okay, anyway. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pretend I haven't seen this. We're gonna, we're gonna work this out after this climb. Right now... I just want to make it to this, to this point. Like, just leave me alone. Does Annabelle have any moodlets? Oh my god. Oh my god. So, look at this. She has proud flirter from flirting with Taken Sim. This Sim is so damn hot. I honestly don't care that they're spoken for. They're spoken for by your best friend. Are you serious? I cannot believe. Okay, we're done with Annabelle. We're do I'm sorry, but we're done with her. Like, I loved her to bits. She was Madeline's best friend. But really? This is how you're going to do? Like, do me? Tiltillating banter, coy smiles, and flirtatious jokes have stand in time for romance. Mm, okay. She's pissing me off. She's pissing me off. And, and she's there because Marco was like, you know, she's Annabelle's, uh, Madeline's best friend, so she needs to be when he's gonna propose to. Oh, I cannot, I cannot deal with this. Sims, what are you doing? Well, she gotta want to become friends with Mar. Oh. And I was like, oh my god, it's so cute. Annabelle wants to become friends with. Yeah, look at that. She stabbed you right in the back. Okay, whatever. You know what? I'm just gonna jump into it. So yeah, that was the last episode, the lovely, romantic, beautiful episode of their proposal. And it turned out that our lovely Marco has been flirting with Madeline's best friend. Said best friend is right here on their engagement party. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was the one who came on to Marco and now after he just proposed to her she, she said like what are you playing at you literally just flirted with me like a couple hours ago on the whatever mountain they were and now you went ahead with a proposal to madeline like what does that mean because i thought like maybe we were gonna have something going on he's feeling embarrassed because as you saw in the clip that i cut out from the last episode he had a conflicted buff so he was like feeling really worried and like very upset with himself that he flirted back with Annabelle when she came on to him so yeah this is kind of what I've been holding in I have been in agony over this because Marco was like such a oh I don't I want I don't want to say role model but like I was like oh my god this dream man blah 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 and he goes goes ahead and does it not only that but he does it right before he's about to propose to his girlfriend a girlfriend who's currently on the phone with the wedding planner and i'm te i'm telling you she probably just heard what annabelle told him i don't know exactly what she told him about fidelity but i'm pretty sure it's not good and i'm pretty sure madeline can put two and two together and be like what like what does her comment mean but madeline is smart she's not gonna throw a tantrum right now but when they go back home they will definitely be having conversations oh my god look at him oh oh this girl has no boundaries whatsoever colton bless you i think you just need to go <laughs> this point can you like take her with you please like I can't deal with her. I'm so mad at her. So how long are how long is this going to take? 
Girl, you can talk to her later, okay? Let's just uh, finish this. No, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to sit down. All right. Ah. You know what? Like, I'm so done with this. I'm so done with this. If you knew how long it took me to shoot that, like, engagement video. Honestly, I cannot deal with these two. I mean, with this guy. Madeline hasn't done anything wrong. Look at him. Look at his sour face. Flora. Mm, nice, isn't it? <laughs> I think he's gonna tell Madeline, like, hey, babe, like, I'm so happy that we're engaged now. Like, look at these views also, please. Look at what he prepared for her. Like, so nice, so pretty. Her mom is here, and I think he's gonna be like, I think we need to get down now because it's already 11 p.m. They're gonna have a helicopter ride back to their chalet that they're staying in. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and head back. Oh, you're so glad to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you, and I really hope you feel that way about me too. Yeah, Marco, we're gonna we're gonna have a conversation about all of this later, okay? Okay, so they have made it home, and they changed into their home outfits, uh, like inside clothes. So I think now is the time that Annabelle is gonna question Marco about the comment that Annabelle made at their engagement. So we are gonna. Oh, Fabi's hungry. Okay, we're gonna eat him right after. But first, where is it? Relationships, jealousy, express suspicion about closeness with Annabelle. And oh, she's feeling flirty. Oh, wait. M major news. Marco's engagement has been leaked. There's a lot of talk of happiness from fans, jealousy from ones who may have a crush on you or hate you, and others talk about his future spouse. <laughs> I love this mod. I'm not sure which one it is. I'm gonna look it up, but it's so cool. Oh no, girl, why are you kissing him? Tell him off. Tell him you know. Tell him you're not stupid. No, I've heard her loud and clear. Why did she make that comment? Wait, what did he say? Darling, you're wor- Wait, what? Darling, you're worrying over nothing. We're just friends. Nah. No, you're not. No, you're not. Why are you lying to me? Why are you lying to me and make me stu feel stupid? No. No. We're not doing it. Don't flirt with him. I don't know why he's lying to her. Should we do it again? Like, why is she even popping up if there's nothing? Also, Madeline only has romance with, like, Marco and Daniel, her other um <laughs> neighbor but it cool. never like came to anything he keeps lying to her and look their friendship is going down oh my god what happened madeline's partner just confessed to having woohooed with another what should madeline do they woohooed? They woohooed? I need a minute. I need a minute. Oh my god. Okay, but like, I do know for a fact that they haven't woohooed. They only flirted with each other because we were on top of the mountain and the only place to woohoo there was in the cave and they didn't go into the cave. I know that. They just flirted, so I don't know why you confess to having woohooed. Yeah, I think it's just like a generic response that the game gives you, but we're just going to pretend that he confessed to having flirted with Annabelle. So what should Madeline do? Give the relationship and her partner a chance. It's too painful and hopeless. Just break up with them. Let fate decide. <sighs> 
we need like i feel like she needs time i think she needs to remove herself from the situation right now because like they just got engaged and uh like this news breaks out so i don't think she's gonna like make any rash decisions what's gonna happen if i do let fate decide <laughs> what, what is that no wait i need to look at her mood lids peak attraction for feeling enamored with someone nearby falling in love can be dangerous but as not but not as dangerous as falling off a mountain so how bad can it be that madeline's utterly enamored with a nearby sim oh girl public spotlight nothing's going on from partner's reassurance he first denied being involved in any way with annabelle hopefully it's true well it's not mockery about fidelity from being teased about fidelity another mockery about fidelity how usual madeline has heard a lot about the fidelity of married couples for a while well that doesn't make sense boring discussion <laughs> inspiring decor lot trait my hopes are away from leaving cheater <gasps> she left him Madeline will mourn a love lost. Madeline will be wrecked with self-doubt and fear of a rival taking over her future partners again. But Madeline will not stick around to see the face of the Sim who betrayed her. She's leaving that cheater. A hilarious show for watching TV. I cannot believe this happened. Right after he proposed to her. What about his moodlets? Marco is not sure where the fatal mistake laid, cheating or admitting to having cheated. Either way, his partner could not tolerate the news of Marco's infidelity and broke them up. Perhaps there will be a chance to reconquer their love, but it won't happen today. No, it won't. And this girl is just living her dream world. Okay. Madeline, I think you need to pack your bags, darling. We're packing our bags and we're leaving, but first we need to feed um, our dog. And then she's taking the plane. She's going to tell Marco to get her a plane and to get her out of here because she cannot do it right now. She can't do it. And then we also need to talk to her. Can't believe it. This is so sad. This is honestly so sad. <laughs> but what we do need to do is talk to this girl come here i can't i'm so mad at her we're going outside we're gonna take it outside all right we're taking it outside so what we're gonna do is we're gonna yell at her for flirting with marco they're both feeling flirty. What's going on? Infallingness, Wabarani Bayoun, squirmish. No, we're not. What we're not gonna do is we're not gonna flirt with everyone, okay? No. What are they even talking about? Shout forbidden words. Brush off. We're, we're going at it. Petty jab, get off my property. Call a smith simch. Oh my god, not Marco coming in. He came in here, he's like, girls, let's talk it over. No, we're not gonna do <gasps> No She just she did not just do that. She was just like, Oh yeah, you're gonna you're gonna mess with me. I'm gonna cheat with him right in front of you. And he like allowed it as well. Madeline was cheated on by someone she cared for and is a jealous is in jealous rage. How will she ever trust again? Embrace the change. I get, yeah, it's gonna make you jealous, obviously. What is she doing? Be jealous. 
<laughs> you absolute <laughs> bee. Honestly. Uh-huh. Call out for being a bad best uh. friend. Yes. Absolutely. I feel the same way about you. What has she done? She's done absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. F bomb. Oh, she's so angry. Flirty spouse. My last spouse was flirting with another. Have they been doing this behind her back? Yes, they have. And she's flirty. Like, girl, get your grip. Like, get a grip, honestly. <laughs> Throw shade. <laughs> I don't know where these interactions are coming from, but... Madeline and Annabelle have fallen out of touch and are no longer best friends. Yeah, no. <laughs> no joke. Okay, if that's how it how it is, then we're no longer friends. Yeah, you, you best believe we're no longer friends. You think you can be friends after that? What you just did? There you go. You want to have my leftovers? Have my leftover drink, bitch. <laughs> I, I hate her so much. I hate him and I hate her. Like, no, stop talking to her. Also, wake this man up wig this man up we're not done we're not done get him up get him up we we haven't finished we haven't finished this conversation you flirted back with her in front of my face you dump absolute piece of trash confront about flirting with another but where did he go oh she's so tired Confront him for flirting with her just yeah, right now. <gasps> oh my god. A fire has started. A fire has started. You know what? I, I don't even want to do anything. I think we're gonna just... Take Fabi and go. Yeah, we're gonna take Fabi and go and leave them with this mess. Yeah, you know, Marco, you need to deal with the fires you set. So we are out of here. We're getting on that private jet and we're getting our ass back home away from these fake bees. I'm gonna meet you guys back home. Okay, you guys, Madeline is back and uh, she's like super tired. It's 6.30 a.m. She's not gonna even unpack. In fact, she has already packed everything that was in this apartment because if you remember from previous episodes, I explained that this apartment is not Madeline's, it's Annabelle's because Madeline doesn't really have a lot of money. By the way, let me fix that because this is not her money. It was the group money for the vacation that they were on so yeah uh she doesn't really have a lot of money and she couldn't afford to stay in such like a nice apartment so because annabelle is like from a super rich family she let madeline stay in her apartment in san maishuno because she wasn't there but obviously we can't stay here anymore because the betrayal is real okay the betrayal is real so she already packed all of her things and uh she's ready to leave this apartment except for like these photos i look at this what is she supposed to do with all of these memories from their girls trip like all of these polaroid pictures of annabelle mostly and like look look at them while they were in like they went to was it a nightclub together it's her annabelle's birthday the girls trip like what is she supposed to do with all of this now? Well, we're definitely not taking these freaking pictures. But I think we might take, like, the group ones. Because it's not just Annabelle there. Maybe we can crop her out. 
And these ones, she can have them. She can come here to her apartment and have them back. So we we're not taking those. Also, that's her disc with like all of her photos. So we're gonna take this. So everything is packed, I think. Yeah. So she's gonna be going. I think she also it's winter fest. Like how sad it is. <laughs> Uh, so her train leaves very soon to, I think she's going to go and spend maybe like a day or two with her mom in Oasis Springs just to like get her head straight, realize like what she's going to be doing, what like get some sort of clarity in her head and in her heart about what's going to happen with all of this, like with the engagement and marco and annabelle situation so i think she just needs to go and spend some time with her mom and then she's gonna be moving into a different apartment inside my shuna because she works here so she needs an apartment probably not as nice as this one but we'll see what we can do with it i think i'm gonna finish this video here i know it was not very nice to watch it wasn't it would definitely wasn't a nice one to make because like i had such high hopes for this couple and for everything to turn out like this it's just not a nice feeling whatsoever so yeah i'm hoping that next episodes are going to be better because it's going to kind of be a new chapter for madeline like everything was going great she was living in this like bubble uh living in a city having her man and her best friend and all of these people all of her friends and then it turned out to be a big betrayal so yeah we're gonna see how madeline is gonna cope with that and what she's gonna do and i'm excited to, to see that i am excited to see that to have some change you know so i know you probably didn't enjoy this video because i didn't but <laughs> if you did enjoy any part of it please leave it a like and comment down below what you think is gonna happen or what you think madeline should do going forward and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss another video that is gonna come out thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys very very soon bye